How'd you do, I? See you've met my faithful hand in hand. We're gonna talk about Rocky Horror Picture Show. I'm so excited. Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. Today's video is going to be a movie review and one I am so excited about. I am going to be reviewing the new Rocky Horror Picture Show, let's do the time warp again, Fox TV movie starring Laverne Cox as Dr. Frankenfurter. Oh yes. Let's get it. Let's get into it. Let's do the time warp again. That's not how you do the time warp. Don't, don't follow my lead. You guys, when I figured out that this movie was going to be a real thing, I was jumping up and down because a, it's Rocky Horror Picture Show, and if you don't like Rocky Horror Picture Show, I don't even know what to do with you. I don't even know why you're here. If you don't know anything about it, or you didn't like it, then you should probably click out of this video. I'm just saying. So not only was it Rocky Horror Picture Show, but Laverne Cox is playing Dr. Frankenfurter. <gasps> If you don't know who Laverne Cox is, she exploded onto the entertainment TV scene when she was a main character on Orange is the New Black. I can't actually remember her character's name right now, but she is paving the way for transgender actors and actresses. She is a transgender actress, meaning she was a man and now she is a woman. and. I absolutely love her. She's funny, she's pretty, she, her character on Orange is the New Black is amazing. Her acting is incredible. So I was so excited when I found out that this movie was going to be a real thing. And I knew that I had to watch it and I had to post a review because who would I even be if I didn't do that? So that's what we're gonna do. First of all, I want to say that Fox kind of modernized the Rocky Horror Picture Show universe just a little bit. It still has all of the same elements that the original one had. It's the pretty much the same exact movie, but just a little bit of modernization and a little bit different in terms of costumes and things like that. But it is so amazingly cheesy. The original movie, the actors were kind of overacting and it was, the original was amazingly cheesy as well, but this one kind of took the overacting, the intentional overacting of the original and brought it up just a little bit more and sort of like the movie was not making fun of itself, but just having light of itself because the movie, the original is, it is a little ridiculous. Rocky Horror Picture Show is kind of a ridiculous, ridiculous concept and plot and just all around weird movie, but it is still so fun and most importantly the new movie was so fun. So let's get into it. I'm not going to talk too much about the acting abilities because it was so cheesy that it's hard to comment on someone's acting when they are pur purposely overacting and being cheesy. So I'm not going to talk too much about that, but I am going to go over each main character and some of the minor characters and just the overall awesomeness that was this movie. So let's start off with our two main characters. So first up we have Brad, who was played by Ryan McCartan, and he was so adorable. He definitely had that clubhouse rich boy thing going on down pat. But he was so cute and he was so, his voice was amazing. He had a very nicely rich, deep but not too deep voice that I thought was extremely pleasant to listen to. So good job on that. The character that he played was slightly annoying. He was slightly more annoying than the original Brad and he was a little bit more whiny than the original Brad was. I don't know if that was a writing thing or if that was just the way he said his lines, but either way I did find the new Brad to be a little bit more whiny and annoying than the original Brad, but he was still 
very pleasant to watch. He cracked me up with the cheesiness, especially with the uh, Damn It Janet song. That scene made me laugh so hard. So I really enjoyed Ryan McCartan playing Brad. Now let's talk about Janet, who was played by Victoria Justice. And I thought Victoria Justice did Susan Sarandon's Janet so well. She captured Janet's innocence perfectly, and Susan Sarandon was perfect portraying the innocence and the virginal type character that Janet was. She also had a very amazing voice. It was kind of breathy and high and her just her voice in general was very breathy portraying that innocence through her vocals. Not to mention she is so pretty. I couldn't even deal with it. She kind of looks like a love child between Vanessa Hudgenson and Nina Dubrov. Just something about her face and her demeanor just reminded me of a combination of those two. It was great. Riff Raff I loved. They took his creepy flat demeanor and they modernized it just a little bit but he reminded me so much of the original Riff Raff. He had the platinum blonde hair, the sunken pale face, and the same like raggedy kind of rock and rollish kind of hobo homeless man look and it was great. He still had the actor who played Riff Raff, his name was Reeve Carney, and he must have studied the original Riff Raff or something because the voice was almost exactly the same. It was that nasally and flat, monotone, creepy voice that Riff Raff had that was completely, that's the time warp. When you think of the time warp, you think of Riff Raff's flat, nasally, creepy voice telling you to pelvic thrust, and <laughs> it was amazing. So I really enjoyed the new Riff Raff. And then Riff Raff's sister, Magenta, was played by Christina Milian. I had no idea that Christina Milian was playing Magenta. And Hello, we all know that Christina Milian has an amazing voice, so therefore Magenta had an amazing voice. The one thing I will say though was Magenta has a Russian accent. She had one in the original and Christina Milian adopted the Russian accent for the new movie and while I think Christina Milian did a great job, I think that trying to carry a Russian accent through the entire movie was a little bit of a struggle for her. I felt like she struggled with the script just a little bit because she was trying to hold on to that accent. And I did a whole two hour play in a Russian accent and I can tell you that it is difficult if you don't know the accent and you don't speak Russian and you're not from there and you don't know people who with Russian accents. So I do get it. So I, I didn't condemn her too much for that but it was noticeable. Her costume was great. She had the maid costume as did Magenta in the original one. But what I loved about Christina Milian's Magenta is that her hair, first of all, it was huge and long and came all the way down here and it was ginormous and crimped and it was the color Magenta. The original Magenta's hair was a little more on the red side and it was just frizzy, but Christina Milian's magenta, I loved it. Like, the hair, the clothes, the voice, like, it was amazing. Now, I want to talk about Columbia. For me, Columbia is a very forgettable character in both the original movie and this movie. she Her character is just kind of there. She doesn't really do anything. And in the new movie, because they were playing up the cheesiness, they had a, a, a bunch of these random screams. And most of the time, they were done by other characters and they were funny. But there was one scene where they're at the dinner table and Columbia stomps off and just for no reason whatsoever just turns around and does this ear splitting scream for no reason and I just I, I didn't like it I, I don't I've never liked Columbia's character I thought she was completely useless to be completely honest what I did like about the new 
Columbia is her her voice was amazing the whole cast the, the voices were amazing the singing was awesome but what I liked about this Columbia is that the original Columbia had a very shrill high voice just with talking in general not a, let alone her singing and this Columbia did not adopt the shrill, high, childlike voice, and I definitely appreciated that because the only person I think <laughs> that I not only tolerate but enjoy a high, childlike voice is Megan McCarthy, who was a Viner and is now a YouTuber. Eddie! Oh, Eddie! Oh, God! I, I actually did not like Eddie in the original movie, but Adam Lambert played Eddie in the new movie, and I honestly, I didn't even recognize him at first. They dressed him up in this mullet with these sideburns and this, like, five o'clock, more than five o'clock, shadow beard and earrings and this leather biker outfit. Like, I didn't even recognize him. But being Adam Lambert, and he is very openly gay and he's fabulous and I love him, but he played the bad boy sexy look like really well. I was very surprised. It took me a good few minutes to recognize him because as soon as he started singing, I recognized his voice, but I couldn't, they made him look so good, I couldn't place the voice with the face. And when I finally figured it out, I was like, know if it was prosthetics or if he actually gained a little bit of weight but he did look a little bigger in a good way in a very good way I mean I could be biased because I do prefer men not being very very skinny so that could just be me but I did notice that he gained some weight but I loved it Eddie is the most minor character in this whole movie and he was played by freaking Adam Lambert like he has one scene sort one and a half one and a half scenes and it's pretty great. So Rocky, <laughs> I thought the actor who played Rocky did a very good job. He kind of reminded me of Val Kilmer just a tad, like a young Val Kilmer, a little bit. You tell me if you're seeing what I'm seeing, just a little bit. Val Kilmer-esque. But I thought he did a great job. His voice, again, was amazing. Rocky is also kind of a boring, forgettable character for me, though, even though it's called Rocky Horror Picture Show. I did like how in the new movie they made Rocky's creation a little bit more like Frankenstein. Basically, Rocky Horror Picture Show is like Frankenstein meets a musical meets a porno meets aliens. That is how I sum up Rocky Horror Picture Show in one sentence. <laughs> and I liked how in the new movie they did make Rocky's creation a little more Frankenstein-esque. He was on the table and, and it was <laughs> this whole dramatic big thing where Frankenfurter was standing on the platform, it was rising up, and the hole opened in the ceiling and the lightning came down and crashed in and he was awake and he's this beautiful albeit dumb character and I thought he played it very well. Rocky is a blonde bombshell man for Frankenfurter and I did notice during his scene where he's jumping around and uh what's oh god what's the song called like I uh, want to be a man or be a man or something like that and he's jumping around and he's swinging from bars and all this stuff and I notice because Rocky in the original and in this one his costume is just sh gold shorts and gold boots like that's that's his costume he's completely naked otherwise and I noticed as he was jumping and running and doing all this stuff they painted his abs on <laughs> I mean, don't get me wrong, the actor who played him had a very nice body, it was very chiseled and whatnot, but how I could tell that his abs were painted on was when he was bending and stretching and, and moving and twisting and doing all these things, abs, they don't show. Like if you, if you look at someone who has real abs, first of all, they're not just there the whole time, like you have to be flexing your stomach muscles for you to see each individual ab. And then when you twist and you jump and you stretch and you move, 
the abs, they, they bunch and they move and they disappear and they reappear and his abs didn't do that. They were just there the whole time. Just abs in your face. Abs. So that was really, really obvious to me that his abs were painted on and it's okay. Like, he's supposed to be this insanely muscled, cute, hot man. So it was totally fine. I did not like how they made his costume a little... I don't know. I can't say safe for TV because this whole movie is not safe for TV. <laughs> like, well, okay, some of, the, some of the movie is. But in the original, Rocky is just a piece of meat to everybody. And they put him in these, it's basically underwear, but these tight really short gold shorts and Rocky shorts in the new movie were longer and they were baggy and I don't know why this meant so much to me but I was like no his shorts are not supposed to be baggy and long and bleh. Now let's talk about Dr. Everett Scott. I, I thought this character was a very was a throwaway character because Tim Curry was in the movie as the narrator, and if you don't know or you don't know Rocky Horror, Tim Curry played the original Dr. Frankenfurter. And I love Tim Curry. He is one of my favorite actors, and he hasn't been in the spotlight for many, many years because he had a stroke that left him in a wheelchair. And because of his stroke, he was not able to do a lot of the things that were required of this character. So they just, they kind of made Dr. Everett Scott and the narrator two completely separate characters, which I understood why they did that, but I thought that Dr. Everett Scott was a completely throwaway character. I did not like, I did not like the character. The actor who played him was okay, but other than that, it wasn't anything special. There was one part though that I I laughed so hard was when Dr. Scott came in and Brad I can't I can't remember if he fell or if he was pushed by Frankenfurter or what, but he notices Dr. Edward Scott and, and he like looks looks off in the distance and he's like, Great Scott! Oh, hello back to the future reference. What? So I, I did LOL quite hard at that part. That was pretty funny. Okay, so now let's talk about Laverne Cox as Frankenfurter. Woo! Let me start off by saying she did an amazing, 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 amazing job. Frankenfurter is a scientist and he is also a transvestite a transsexual transvestite. I thought it was so clever and a nice twist having a transgender. Laverne Cox is a transgender, which means she is a woman. I thought that was amazing that they picked her to portray Dr. Frankenfurter. And what was even more interesting is that as I was watching, her costumes, first of all, the costumes of Dr. Frankenfurter, I thought were better than the original. In the original, Tim Curry just wore a corset and uh, these like brief underwear and fishnet stockings and heels. But I thought that the costumes in the new movie far, far portrayed Dr. Frankenfurter's style way better. The costumes were like very showgirl type costumes and I feel like that is Dr. Frankenfurter. Like he's a transvestite but he's so flashy I don't think he would settle for just a plain old corset and briefs and stockings and heels. I, I don't think he would settle for that. I think he would be very flashy, very, he's, he's a performer, he is a entertainer. And so I thought the costumes were just so much better in the new movie. But I did notice that they put a cup on Laverne Cox. They did not flatten her chest or anything, so she still obviously had breasts, but then some costumes you can see that she's wearing a cup to make it seem like there is something there. So I thought that was very interesting. Laverne Cox's voice was better than I thought it would be. It's, it's, I will be honest, it's not amazing, but it is better than I thought it would be. And I completely enjoyed 
how she ranged from the very feminine, higher voice, and then on some notes it just dropped down to a complete manly bass octave, and it was so great. I loved that, because it was so jarring from what was up here to then what was down here. I realized how that just sounded, and I, I didn't mean to make that pun, but we're just gonna move on from it. Her voice was amazing. I loved her voice, and she did the... If you've seen the original, Tim Curry had this very dramatic, deep opera voice, and she did that so well, and I loved how her lips and her face, just when she was talking, it was just, the eyebrows were going and the mouth was moving in all directions, and it was amazing. So, I thought she did an amazing job at, at taking Tim Curry's quirky character and modernizing it just a bit, but still keeping that same quirkiness and that same character and bringing it back to life. There were certain scenes where I thought it was a, li a bit too much and I did read a lot of reviews on the movie and I know that that was something that a lot of people did not like. This movie did not get insanely good reviews. I thoroughly enjoyed it, but I can see, especially if people don't understand the quirkiness of Frankenfurter, why they did not enjoy Laverne Cox's portrayal of the character because there were some scenes where it was just like, tone it down just a little bit, please, okay. Scenes where if I didn't know what the producers were trying to do with the overacting and the original story being so overacted, why people would say that that was bad acting. I did not think it was bad acting. I just thought that in some scenes it was, it was just a, a little too much. Overall, I thought they did an amazing job with recreating this iconic, and it is, iconic cult classic. To this day, Rocky Horror Picture Show is showed in movie theaters all around the world, especially on Halloween, where you get dressed up and you go to a showing, and it really is a culture. For those who have not been to a showing of Rocky Horror, it's quite possibly the funnest time you will ever have. I go to Rocky Horror Picture Show showings as much as I can. My One of my best friends was actually Frankenfurter in a live performance of Rocky Horror Picture Show and the atmosphere when you go there is just amazing and it's fun and you have people in the audience dressed up and singing the songs and throwing popcorn at the screen and acting out scenes as they're being shown. It's it's an amazing time. And the fact that this 1975 movie is still so popular to this day is freaking amazing. And I honestly think that while it wasn't as good as the original, and nothing really is ever as good as the original. I thought the new movie did the original complete justice. It was pretty fantastic. They tried to be as close to the original as possible with just a touch of modernization to it, and I thought it was great. So if you have not seen both the original and the new one, I highly suggest both. Laverne Cox has already, at a high level for me, just just went up there because of this movie. You have to go in to the original and the new one with an open mind. Just remember, <laughs> because it is very quirky, it is very strange and weird, and it's not for everyone, but if you are into the very theatrical, musical, weird, strange, and you don't mind the cheesiness and the overacting, Rocky Horror Picture Show is a great movie. Even if you aren't into that stuff, I feel like everyone should watch Rocky Horror Picture Show at least once in their lifetime. That is all I have for today. I really hope you all enjoyed this review of Rocky Horror Picture Show, the Let's Do the Time Warp Again, and I hope you guys have a great rest of your day and rest of your week, 
and this week starts NaNoWriMo. In fact, if I get if I get this up on Monday, which I'm gonna try my damn best. If this goes up on Monday, tomorrow starts day one of NaNoWriMo and I will be putting up weekly vlogs, just kind of checking in because I can't vlog too much during the week especially, but I'm just gonna be doing some check-ins and some write with me's and that will all be on my vlog channel, which I will link in the description below. So please go check out my vlog channel if you want to see everything NaNoWriMo related. And that's all I have for you guys. Please like, comment, and subscribe if you enjoyed this video. Don't forget to share it with your friends, especially all you Rocky Horror Picture Show lovers. Please let me know what you thought of the new movie if you've seen it. Comment down below. I would love to hear all of your opinions, even if you don't agree with mine. I want to hear all your opinions. What did you think of the remake? Did you like it? Did you not? What did you think of Laverne Cox? And let me know. Other than that, thank you all for taking the time to watch this video, and I will see you guys later. Don't get strung up by the way I look. Don't judge a book by its cover.